Water, when she'll present the British Armed Forces with their Pride of Britain Award. We now come to our Lifetime Achievement Award, and here to introduce it, the Prime Minister, David Cameron. Good evening, everyone. All of tonight's Pride of Britain winners are extraordinary people who represent the very best of our country. They all deserve the praise and recognition we can give them. And that's certainly the case with the winner of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. It was 1974, uh, 10 past two on the 21st of February. It's etched in my mind that life really changed. Bob Woodward was on a family break when his seven-year-old son, Robert, fell ill. I remember we were away on holiday um, at the time in Spain and uh, Robert was having a lot of pain. We were running on the beach and playing football. Uh, he couldn't keep up and suddenly, um, you know, his uh, energy level um, was, was flagging. Sadly, Robert had cancer a stage four neuroblastoma. After a three-year battle, he passed away. But amid all the heartbreak and despair, Bob had found inspiration from the sick children on the wards. All the children I'd met, they, it's almost as if something had been taken away from them because they've got this ghastly disease. But at the same time as it's taken away, something so extra special, almost angelic, um, is given to them to cope. Bob was determined to do more for those children and their families. So in 1976, he set up Children and Leukemia in Childhood, which later became Click Sergeant. Top of Bob's list was the lack of accommodation for parents to stay near their children during their treatment. My eldest son, George, when he was a tiny baby, was ill with leukaemia. Um, in many ways, we were fortunate that we lived close to the hospital at Great Ormond Street, but I quickly became aware of the fact that that was not the case for a lot of families. Bob's solution was to offer up his own property. He went on to open Homes From Home, as they became known, right across the UK. Over three decades, Bob's ceaseless commitment to his cause saw him raise an eye-watering sum of money. To date, Bob is estimated to have raised more than £100 million. Much of it has been poured into cancer research. And things are improving. When he began Click, seven out of ten children diagnosed with cancer died. Today, eight out of ten children survive. Although Bob would say he was not entirely due to him, he must have had a significant effect with the work which he was able to finance through the uh, funds which came into Click. I, I can't believe it's the same. Bob went on to transform Click into an international charity, gaining recognition from royalty to world leaders. This is a man who's devoted his talents and boundless dedication to helping others for more than 30 years. And nothing gets in his way. In 2003, he was himself diagnosed with prostate cancer. But despite his illness, Bob Woodward is still fundraising today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce you to Bob Woodward. Bob Woodward. I must say, however wonderful it is to be here tonight uh, and to receive such a wonderful, wonderful accolade, uh, I'm the first to admit and recognize that no one raises funds by themselves. Um, you know, we are dependent on all sorts of people from all walks of life. Two very keen supporters uh, of Click Sergeant to present you with your award. I think you know them. Mm -hmm. Former world champion boxer Barry McGuigan no, and acclaimed actress yeah. Sue Johnston. <laughs> Thank 
Bob, what you have done and what you are still doing for all of us is phenomenal. Well, I, I'd just like to say um, I, I had a child, um, Danica, who was diagnosed at 11. As you probably know Bob. And um, she made it through, as did Gary's son, George. But yours didn't make it through. Mm -hmm. And many people are diminished by that and destroyed by it and want to walk away. But you had enormous courage. And you are a king among kings. And you're an extraordinary individual. <laughs> and we all love you. Thank you. Congratulations to this wonderful man, our lifetime achievement winner, Bob Woodward.